cute. Hello, I'm gonna bring you along in what I do when I'm resining. There's a lot of things that you need to watch out for when resining. And one of the big things is having it be even. And that is a huge problem for me. I'm just checking what I need to re-resin. Let's bring some pieces to sunbathe outside. So my little setup, I have a tall lamp, this mini lamp which i'll turn on later so you don't get blinded my little flashlight my uv lamp is right behind me it's on a suitcase and just sitting on the floor with this little setup most importantly my mask everyone you should get a respirator if you're working with resin and i'm right next to the window and the door is closed because i don't want the dogs to smell the fumes here's my desk within reach is all that i need a resin and before each session i'll use this little thing to like get all the dusties. Here's my parchment paper, my two needles that I use and some glitter, my phone that uh, records the reels for me. And my resin is down here cause I'm a righty. Mm, I think that's all. Let's resin these guys. If my battery lasts. Um, I forgot to bring a clip. Oh my God, his leg, his poor leg. One leg down. Resin got too crazy. Anyways, I like to ethanol wipe my resin table. Oh, and pro tip for the resin brushes. What I do is I'll have a little cup that I fill with alcohol and I will dip the brush in at the very end when I'm done with my whole session. And then I'll just like pat dry and the brush is pretty good. Okay, we'll begin now. Okay, I don't know if you can hear me very well, but I usually like to put on a podcast. <laughs> Good morning. I am getting ready for a shop update. So I decided I'm gonna make little like cards for each clay item because I don't know, like I feel like I have to price them a little higher than anything else I've made because they take so long to make one single piece. So this guy is amazing, except he kind of has like a torched butt. I don't know, is that like, that kind of adds to his personality, right? He's been through things, but he's still cute from the front. So I'm gonna make little cards for them and then I'll probably do a montage of some sort because we love those. I think I'm just, I'm just gonna watch Medea movies all day. I live for those, they're so funny. A few weeks from now, I'll probably do a bigger update with more of the better clays, but all of them are clays that I really tried my best doing. So if anyone's wondering why these pieces are like 20 to 30 bucks, that's the reason why. Some pieces that kind of got damaged along the way, like either cracked in the oven or the resin process didn't turn out the way I expected, I marked down a lot. And uh, okay, so I'm gonna start drawing. My Copic markers smell really bad for some reason. I never really found a way to like use them properly. Maybe it's just been stinking up. It's been rotting inside or do they? always smell like that. I don't know. Good morning! 
I'm watching Ven's stream right now. Oh, I want to show you because I can dance. You aren't ready for this, but look. Hello. Thank you to Munbin for sending me this new printer of theirs. It's a label printer and I actually have their first model, this guy. So they made the design a lot smaller comparison. And today I'm going to show you how I print some labels. 15 minutes later. Oh my goodness. What is this? Good morning. Where am I? The allergies are so crazy this morning. Anyways, I'm popping in to share a little bit more about what we can do with labels. Munbin put me up to a challenge of trying out new things with shipping labels. And I was like, maybe you're onto something. So I decided to put in a compilation of a few words and designs that we could use to decorate envelopes. A few other things I just want to mention is the printer, it uses thermal label printing, which means no ink is necessary, which we love because extra cost of ink, why? And instead of buying extra tiny labels, why not just reuse the labels that you have right now for shipping labels? In the past, I've tried to buy like those tiny little decorative labels for your envelopes. And I was like, this is so pricey. But now I can just print it with my shipping labels. So let's see how it looks. Hopefully it looks really good. We got three designs, fragile, anti. Fragile. Actually, no. Wait, did I say four? Fragile, thank you. Take care. And a cute little animal banner thing. These, I feel like you could place at the front of the envelope or in the back of the envelope. I know some of my envelopes are super old. The ceiling doesn't really work anymore. And instead of just like applying water on it, I think I'll just put the animal banner on it. Hopefully this works out. Let's head to the printer. Oh my gosh, my tape. I just... What even? How did it unravel like that? Not related, but kind of related. You can also buy these cute labels and print out designs. I made this in a previous video. If you want a tutorial, let me know. It's quite simple. But anyways, back to the main topic. So I already have my shipping label in here. And then don't forget to set your paper into four by six. Oh, <gasps> wow. That's so cute. Let's print some more. Ta-da! Cute. We'll put these aside and then we'll cut one up to see how it looks. Wait, why does it look so cute? It looks so nice when it's put together. It kind of looks extra professional after cutting it. We got our designs over here. I like this one a lot. I knew I would like this one. I also like this one a lot too. But it feels so nice. So there's some food for thought of what you can do if you're at home with some shipping labels and you want to spice up your envelopes a little bit more. And thank you again to Munbin for sending me this printer. I will put it to good use and create many different things. And they were kind enough to give a coupon to share with everyone. It's gonna last about three days. I'm gonna have the dates on the screen. So if you want 10% off your own printer, I will have a link down below for you. Happy printing and decorating your envelopes. Maybe you'll see some of these on your future envelopes if you order anything. And, um, on to the next. If there's one thing I stand by, it's creating stuff that only I would like. Actually, cut, cut, cut. I mean, if there's one thing I stand by, it's only selling items that I would be happy receiving. So I'm gonna touch up some clays and some keychains. So we're gonna resin today. I actually wasn't planning to, but yeah. I never wear hot pink, but I bought this because of Tata window. It's also a really nice day today.
I got foam board. Let's see how it goes. It might not work. What if, just what if? I think I need a box. Maybe this. Leo. So heavy but let me go ahead and show you how i do one so i found that using the base helps a lot this part is hard sometimes i get it in one go sometimes it takes a while and then i have to repeat again Ta-da! good morning today is shop update day we're behind let me show you what's going on right now so i was working on this last night i got all the beads i decided to link them all together i really struggled now that the now that the clay pieces actually have some beads on it plus the labor i'm gonna go through everything and decide again how much i want to price it i want to price it at something reasonable still for handmade goods some might say it's still expensive some may say i could charge more but i'm gonna find a in between so let's hope it works out first i'm gonna make my coffee the allergies are so bad this morning got my ice Nespresso frother And now we're ready to start the day the shop dip the shop update is at 12 It's currently 920. I'm hoping to look through everything by 10 take pictures around 10 through 11 upload everything call it good Happy shop update um, if you decide to buy something or, well, this is in the future, so if you did buy something, thank you. If you're just here to support watching me, thank you as well. I'm watching Warrior Nun. I think I'm done catching up on all the shows that I missed out on for the past two years. Akiba. Leo is like the most clingy, annoying dog, but he is also... ASMR. I'm making some stickers for the people that buy clays. Just like a limited number, but yeah. Good morning. Wanna come here, Ginger? 
I know, it's April, and I'm working on a secret Santa exchange. How did we get here? If you've been watching me a long, long time, then there's probably a moment where I was like, I do secret Santa with my friends every year. And what we do is we exchange handmade gifts. And this has been dated back to all the way back in high school. So it's been over 10 years since we've been doing this. We've done a good amount of things. A lot of things not that good on my part. I... I'm not that artistic when it comes to making like handmade things. Digital art took me a while, but we're getting to the point where there's some hope for me. So for this year, since I'm going down this clay route, I decided to go down this clay route for Secret Santa. So my friend Mia, she has two cats and I was thinking about doing a cat tree clay thingy for her. So here are the pieces that we have. It was inspired by this cat tree. Oh, my breakfast. My favorite right now is this tree stump. And the best part is I added some magnetic things into it. So it's like a little bit more exciting. And yeah, I spent yesterday just molding it and painting. Today, we're gonna resin it and probably glue at, blah, 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 probably glue down the pieces that we need to. But first I'm gonna eat and then we'll continue this project. Okay, see you later.
is the cheapest meal we can afford. <laughs> it smells really good now. You're doing an amazing job. Wow. Wow. Also? Wow. Okay, I'm done with this video. <laughs> what are you making? Good. Also, I'm Spanish. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, I'm so hungry. Why did you guys? No. Oh, no. Wow. Can't really get you now. Where's my thing? No, no, no. Do we need gloves for this? Cheers. Cheers. I'm so excited. <laughs> Let her cook. 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 Let her c